I should have been a fat boy if it wasn't for boxing. I was a chubby kid, but but I think that that's 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 the hardest thing right there. But it's good, you know. That way I'm not blown up overweight. Since we come from a Mexican family, try to do a lot of food, a lot of greasy food, all that. It's it's really hard to stay away from from them. Mom's cooking. I started at eight. I tried other sports. I tried soccer. I did karate for a little bit, but I didn't like those. And then uh, we moved to uh, Watsonville. Well, he was he was already there when I met him, cause he had another coach, and I had my coach. But since we were in the same facility, and that's how we met. Well, my dad always liked boxing. He always uh, would watch fights, and I told him, "Hey, I want to fight. I want to fight." And uh, he took me to the gym, and ever since then, I, I just fell in love with, with boxing. With you know what I mean? The intensity of it. My grandpa also, his dad, he also liked it a lot. But in Mexico, they, they were from where they were from, Michoacan. There wasn't a, a gym they could, they could train at, or else he probably would have been a boxer. Oh, me siento, pues muy bien y orgulloso porque pues a mi papá le gustaba mucho el box y cuando estábamos chiquitos nos llevaba él a, a mirar las peleas ahí con su patrón con el que trabajaba y pues me hubiera gustado que, que él que mi papá lo mirara boxear lo orgulloso que se sentiría de, de él de estar peleando en profesional ahora. When I was a amateur I didn't use my jab a lot and now I see that it's a big key in boxing and I think that's one of my good uh, assets in, in uh, boxing, but uh, I, I like how I use a body work when I'm sparring. I do it a lot, but in a fight, I, for some reason, I just, I just like, I, I, I don't use it at all. I don't, I don't throw any body shots. I, I think that's something I really need to work on. Uh, well, I think the difference is um, in Mexico, well, um, I think they just do it for the money at first, but like some, sometimes um, guys come with, with talent, like, like Juan Manuel Marquez, and well, Mexicans, they just try to bra, 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 bra. But over here is more, more technique, more technique, and movement, and try not to get hit, and all that, all that counts. It's very difficult to come up on the 140 and 147 because so much competition, but um, I think we can make it. You know, I'm just working hard to get there for right now, you know, right now I'm just working hard to get there and staying positive, staying motivated and hopefully we get there and when we get there we're, we're going to, you know, give it everything we got to, to get that title. The 140, 147, 154, those are the very competitive weight classes right now. Um, we're in those divisions, so we got to work, work tremendously hard. Actually, Spartan him, Jonathan, he, he got me a good right hand and oh damn, it feels pretty weird, it's like, you, you like, I don't know, he started for a little bit, boom, kind of like black out for a few seconds, like, oh, damn, you know, I got, I got hit pretty good, I got hit pretty good, but start telling yourself, oh, damn, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, then you, you know you're gonna be done. But if you tell yourself, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the sport, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's part of the sport, and it's, something, it's what I like to do, then you'll be all right. I eat a lot of healthy food because of my mom. I tell her, no, just buy healthy, 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 and she like, she get, kind of gets irritated because my parent, my, Dad and all my family like to eat junk food and all, all the greasy food. But rather than that, I don't really do nothing. Um, I just, I just train, run, and just be home. Um, try to concentrate on my future, what what I'm gonna do, and that's about it. As a young fighter, I was I was traveling a lot. I was winning um, national tournaments, state, state. Um, I was really traveling, and I really liked it. Um, I never thought about quitting. Um, what made me go on is about all the traveling and and how how much um, I get to to like look around other places, um, be with other fighters since I was in the nationals and all that. It was it was a great experience. Uh, to me, it motivates me to train harder and be in better shape and just be, prepare mentally for, for a tough fight, you know, you know what I mean? Because if you know you can fight in like a, somebody who's not, like, not, not strong or not, not a good record, you, you kind of 
don't even uh, prepare that good, you know. Yeah, but if you don't even know, know who you're fighting, you gotta be in tip top shape. Like, you know, just go and get really, really prepared mentally and physically for a tough fight. Not even, not all the time. Yeah. I haven't gone in a while, I need to go. But every time I, I say, oh, I'm gonna go this summer, I always end up fighting or something, you know what I mean? Sometimes I always come to. En este transcurso que tenemos tres años en, entrenando el progreso, estamos a, estamos a buen nivel. Eh, uh, tenemos un nivel que quizá un poco, pienso que es un poco más avanzado de lo que tenemos y han progresado mucho. La, la experiencia que hemos tenido y que he tenido yo de sacarlos a pulir a otros, a otros lugares, a otros gimnasios, y ellos, ellos han mirado mi trabajo y la oportunidad que hemos dado a vueltas por otro lado que hemos tenido y hemos hecho sparring con diferentes, como con Antonio Margarito, como con Brando Ríos, como José Ramírez Jr. y otros prospectos buenos, es lo que nos ha llevado a avanzar más arriba. I fought in Ohio and I fought six rounds. I knocked the guy down in the first round and I almost knocked him down, but I didn't go crazy because I knew he had like a lot of experience. He had like 30 fights or something. And um, I knocked him down three times, but he finished the fight hard. Um, he had a lot of condition and stuff. I don't know how he did it, but yeah, we went six rounds. I think it's just mental, just mental to be ready for, ready for a tough fight. Cause once you're in there and you're really tired, you gotta, you know, like just keep telling yourself, keep going, keep going. Cause uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Just prepare, prepare really, really well mentally for for the longer distance. Cause it does it does get pretty hard when you're in there and you're pretty tired and the other dude's trying to knock your head off. Like ah, you know, it's part of the sport getting hit. But what I really like about it is after after you win a, a, a fight, you know that feeling that you get after after you win. Like ah, you just feel so satisfied, you know, when all that all that hard work and training pays off.